Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the circulation pump and motor assembly in your dishwasher, you will need to fully uninstall the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Using a quarter inch socket or a Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the two mounting screws, securing the lower access panels. Set the panels aside. Use channel lock pliers to unthread the water supply line elbow fitting from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, use a quarter inch socket or a T20 Torx bit to unthread the screw to release the junction box cover. Note the orientation of the power wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Unthread the mounting screws, securing the dishwasher to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Tip the appliance back and rest the rear panel on a towel or blanket. Note the orientation of the wires connected to the circulation motor, then disconnect them. Use a T20 Torx bit to unthread the two screws, securing the pump retaining bracket. Slide out the bracket. You can now pull the old circulation pump and motor assembly free of the sump. Prepare the new circulation pump and motor assembly for installation by transferring the gaskets from the old pump to the new one. Apply some lubricant to the gaskets. Now align the notch in the pump with the tab in the sump housing and push the assembly into place. Slide in the retaining bracket, making sure the alignment pin is inserted into the hole in the bracket. Thread the screws to secure. Connect the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals on the circulation motor. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Confirm that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall, then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary.
Rethread the screws to secure the appliance to the countertop, cabinet, or floor. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wires and strain relief in the junction box. Then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Secure the grounding wire with the screw. Join the black wires together and the white wires together and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the junction box, realign the cover and rethread the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line fitting to the inlet valve. Realign the two access panels. Secure them with the two mounting screws. Turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use.